<laughs> Hello, friends and loved ones. Uh, once again, this is RJ, and uh, I'd like to tell you about my day. It was an interesting day, uh, filled with good hats. I woke up uh, in the morning, uh, because to me, 11 o'clock is morning, and it's Sunday here, so nothing happens on Sunday here. I don't know if I've told you this, but the sidewalks roll up, uh, there's a street cleaner. I mean, there's, there's just nothing going on. There's maybe a few shops and restaurants open, or sorry, restaurants only, uh, but none of the shops. Um, people in Germany take this time to go to a museum, hang with their peeps, window shop, and uh, occasionally eat out. But that's, uh, that's really about all that happens uh, in Germany on a Sunday. So, you know, I woke up. Um, I decided to just go ahead and read for a couple of hours. Thought that would be instructive. I'm reading a book called Where Good Ideas Come From by Stephen Johnson. I've always been fascinated by this, that subject, where good ideas come from because I've had some myself in the past and it's just not really, um, it's not a real straightforward linear course as you may have surmised and <clears throat> and so I've been loving this book actually for as long as I've, I've been here. At any rate, I did decide at one point that staying in all day and reading and doing solitary activities probably wasn't going to be very good for me so <laughs> I went ahead, <clears throat> I went out Today I visited a place I've never been before. It's the Allstadt Rathaus. Now, what did I just say? Rathaus is basically like a courthouse. And uh, many, many, uh, like everywhere I visited in Germany, there's a Rathaus somewhere. Just like, you know, there's a courthouse in every town in America. So, <clears throat> actually, uh, Braunschweig is really interesting in that it has a couple of them because I found out today that Braunschweig is actually made up of five smaller little medieval towns. And they, each town like kind of grew up and they kind of all connected together in what now is known as Braunschweig. So the town has a rod house, Braunschweig itself, but the Allstadt rod house is like the old city courthouse. So I, uh, I went there. It was really, it was very interesting. There was apparently a guy with a lot of time on his hands uh, a while ago built a model. Uh, it's, uh, it was out, I, I couldn't even identify what the model material was because this is a pretty old model. But he built a representation of the entire town in this model and they have this uh, in the Allstadt Rathaus in this huge glass case and this you know on the sides of the case it kind of points out the little points of interest or whatever I was lucky enough that the lady who took my coat because I've now learned to ask just walk up and ask them if you can have your book bag because you probably can't mine it's huge uh, I've been struggling with this a little bit because <laughs> when you get on the bus or whatever people people bump into this a lot even if there's nothing in it it's a problem so I don't know if I need to switch or not also <laughs> pretty damn heavy, even when it's empty. So I'm not really happy with my choice there. It seemed good, it seemed rugged, it seemed like what I needed, but now it's getting pretty heavy. So I might have to investigate other options. At any rate, book bag, too big. So checked it in, and then the lady came running after me with a small bulletin in her hands and asked me if I was English. Uh, and uh, I just went ahead and said yes, and she handed me this thing that kind of explained the uh, the whole, you know, because the the Allstadt Rathaus is a museum of the city of Braunschweig. So she handed me that. I made my way around the exhibit. Uh, this this model, though, I tell you, I took a lot of photos of it because uh, it's it's pretty incredible. Uh, it's pretty incredible stuff, and I think the brochure said he spent like. 18,000 hours on it. This was way before the internet, okay? This was before Facebook. Um, 
I just can't imagine. I used to build models myself uh, for my theatrical career, and this this darn thing's huge. Anyway, a lot of respect. Anyway, so uh, wandered through the exhibit, saw some nice things, photographed many more things. Um, it was fabulous, and then I went to Starbucks because I think I visit every day. I walked up to the counter, and the lady said, "Venting up at latte," and I said, "Yes." And so now they know me there. And um, and then the other one said the name of the sandwich that I usually get, uh, but I got I got carrot cake instead this time. Um, so, you know, I tried to mix it up. So I hung out at Starbucks and I. So, well, I've run into some problems with my thesis. I'm having to kind of restructure it. I'm not real happy about this at this late date. I mean, come on. Um, but uh, it turns out that, you know, maybe it won't be so bad. Um, maybe it won't be as bad as what I'm thinking it will be. There were some promising things in the things that I read today. One of my, do one of my uh, professors, Dr. Eikenberg, sent me something. And, yeah, so maybe it'll turn out to be good. At any rate, at that point, I decided to slide on home. I did have groceries I needed to buy, but uh, as I've stated already, I totally forgot that they're all closed on Sunday. I was supposed to go buy cereal and milk today, but mm, that didn't happen. So now I'm going to catch up on my blog. I need to post some things. I need to... I would like to do some research as well tonight, some thesis stuff. I would like to finish the movie I started making yesterday about the visit to the the art museum in Hamburg, and uh, maybe maybe there'd be painting time. I don't know. I can't promise. I did go out and buy some art supplies yesterday because I needed them. Okay. Um, I can't be around all this great art and like look at it and post it without trying something myself. So, you know, even if no one ever sees it, I enjoy it. So there you go. At any rate, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I shall see you. Well, like not face to face, but I'll probably see a Facebook post. You know, if you do that sort of thing, I might see a photo of you or something, but I, you know, I'll definitely see that and just feel connected, our hearts uh, tomorrow, um, so saya nara.